today we're going to make some beans, just regular old pinto beans and Mexican cornbread. And so um, we're going to make it in the Instapot. And so I'll show y'all the way we do it. Um, first we're going to get some, I'm probably going to do a little bit more than a pound. Um, Probably going to do about a pound and a half, I would say. We're going to break some sort these real fast. And that basically just gets the ones out that look kind of funny. Very rarely do you find a rock or a weird one in there. Oh, oh there's one. See that? We don't want that in there. But, oh, there's another one. Looks like maybe dirt. But we don't want that in there. Okay. Good. You just put, put them in here. And then I like to cook mine in... Um, chicken broth. So what we're going to do, we don't want a lot of water, but we want uh, probably about four cups. And this holds um, eight cups. So we're going to do, oh, maybe we'll do eight cups. Doesn't really matter on, on water. Um, you just want enough liquid in there. This is chicken broth that I like to use. And it's just the Knorr brand. Now you, I usually just do two, two big spoons. And let's see what that looks like. You may not use yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use all of whew, all of that. So that ended up being eight cups of water for about a pound and a half. Now, I'm also going to use um, a whole onion, like a medium-sized onion. My sister-in-law got me on this. You can find this on the um, Spanish aisle in your grocery store. And we're going to put two packages of this in there. And it just kind of gives it a little, little zest. I'm going to put two of these. The onion. And then we're going to put a little bit of cilantro. And some chili powder. We're going to put some bacon. And some ham. Let me cut this cilantro and uh, onion up. And we'll be right back. Okay. Um. You can chop your onion up, and that's a strong onion. Whew. Uh, you can chop it up as big or as little as you as you want. We don't mind uh, cooked onions, so I didn't do mine real little. And then um, about a cup of cilantro. Put that in there. And we're going to put about a tablespoon of chili powder. I'm bad about not measuring and just kind of eyeballing it. So about a tablespoon of chili powder. And then we're going to use this whole package of cubed ham. You can use whatever um, kind of ham you want. You can cut it up yourself if you want. But we're going to use this whole package of just regular cubed ham. And we're going to use half a pound of bacon. This is some bacon that we bought, and it was really fatty. Um, so, it's, it wasn't really good for breakfast. So, I'm just going to put it in here for flavor. And uh, some people put, when they do their beans in the Instapot, they'll put uh, maybe a tablespoon or two of... Um, of uh, oil 
olive oil, vegetable oil, just oil, and it keeps it from foaming up so bad when you go to release your pressure. But since this bacon has so much fat in it, uh, I'm not going to worry about that, the oil today. But if you're not going to use, if you prefer not to use bacon or something that will have a lot of fat in it, just maybe put about a tablespoon of, of oil in there and then I'll help with the, um, with the foaming. All right, we're going to give this a good stir. Caleb, if you want to show them how it looks. Show them down in there. Can you see that? And we're going to, now we're going to put this on high. Uh, you can use your bean, your bean button. Or you can just do it on manual. Manual high. As you, I use manual for everything. And we're going to put it on for 35 minutes. And then when that gets done, we're going to let it release for 10 minutes before we break the seal. And we will start our cornbread. Okay, I forgot to add the garlic. So I stopped it right after I started it and added about, a, I usually do about a tablespoon, and this is the garlic that we like to use. Um, and then I started it up again and we got 12 minutes to go. So I'm going to go ahead and start the um, cornbread now. We use Jiffy. We use Jiffy for everything uh, as far as cornbread is. Sometimes we make it homemade, but I really, really like the taste of of Jiffy. And we're going to just make it just like the box says. Third of milk and an egg. And I have the um, skillet getting hot in the oven with about two tablespoons of butter. Now when today when I make the cornbread I am not going to put hamburger meat in it. But I usually do. I'll do, um, and when I do hamburger meat, I double do two um, boxes. Today I'm just going to do one box because that's all I've got. Forgot to buy some more. So um, since we have so much meat in the in the beans, the ham, and the um, bacon, we're just going to skip the hamburger meat. But when I do do hamburger meat, I just season it: salt, pepper, garlic, onion, a little bit. And um, and I put that with it, and I'll show you. Um, I don't know. Let me add a little bit more milk. This is for some reason not the consistency. Probably a tablespoon of milk. Usually is, but maybe they put a little bit more corn. Yeah, that's right. Maybe they put a little bit more cornbread in that box than usual. Okay. Um. I'm going to move to this side. Let's see. It is almost, almost melted. Uh, we're just going to use some cheese. Uh, and then we're going to use uh, diced jalapeno peppers. Sometimes I use the sliced. Sometimes I use fresh. We like it always. All the boys like it. Any way that I make it, they like it. But today I'm going to use those because I think it will lay better since I'm not doing two boxes. Okay. And I just melted some butter in the bottom. This was my granny skillet. She got this skillet from her grandmother for a wedding present. So it is a good... 50 plus years old. So we're going to put half of this in there. Just like that. And if I was going to do hamburger meat, then I would just layer some hamburger meat on there. Right now. And then put the 
peppers. You can use a little bit smaller skillet, but I'm sentimental to this skillet, so I use this one for a lot of stuff. And we're not scared of spice in this house, and so we're going to put quite a bit, but you can put as much or as little as you like. found out the other day these weren't as hot as sometimes. Sometimes they're hot, sometimes they're not. This time they weren't. Okay, and then we're going to put, I usually put about a cup of cheese. Just sprinkle it around. Put the rest of our cornbread this is not going to take very long to cook since it is in a bigger skillet and since it's only one pressurized now so let's open it come over here and look at it oh my word those look so good I love doing them in the instant pot because they stay firm in, in a in a crock pot they kind of mushy and I bet the other is ready to Look over here, Caleb. This is Mexican cornbread. And it is perfect. You can brown a little bit more, but oh no, that's perfect. Look at that. Mmm. Let me get a bowl. make us happy like beans at least my my, my family okay and put a little bit of this on top let me get me a spoon show them that cornbread real good I get a spoon Caleb you want to try it or you want me to try it Go ahead. Okay. I'll eat it later. Might be too hot. I would probably, on mine, I'll add a little bit more salt and um, some pepper. You always need salt and pepper. Perfect. Very, very good. Hope you enjoy this recipe. The hunters are back from the field. I went deer hunting this evening and duck hunting this morning. Got a good limit. We went out there and worked hard and we come home and get beans for supper. <laughs> By request. Good beans. Real good. <laughs> 